what do we think of having some caffeine or coffee uh, when we get a migraine? So caffeine, widespread, you know, it's a double-edged sword. For many people, it can help headache and migraine attacks, but others, it could trigger it. So what does caffeine do? I guess the best place to start with. Caffeine, while it has numerous effects on our body, raises, could raise blood pressure, could increase heart rate. In the brain, in the, in the nervous system, it causes vasoconstriction of blood vessels. And that first you might sound, oh, that doesn't sound good, but it actually can be a useful goal in migraine attacks because during a migraine attack, there's all these inflammatory markers and things and greetings, et cetera, that's, you know, coursing through the blood vessels. And by constricting it, it slows the release down. So a common medication, the triptan, sumatriptan, rizotriptan, triptan is actually worked by causing vasoconstriction, not the same as caffeine, but it's a similar end. However, mm-hmm. again, as I was saying, caffeine could raise blood pressure, heart rate, and therefore for some, it can trigger a headache or migraine attack. So with all these remedies, you know, we're going to bring up, I always say what works for some may not work for you, you know, et cetera. Um, caffeine, you know, it's why we see it in medications such as um, Excedrin, Furanol, et cetera, because again, for a lot of people, they see relief with it. I get asked a lot, what's too much caffeine? That's a very good question. You know, I would say no more than 300 or 400 milligrams, which is around three to four cups of coffee in a day. You know, I, I ask a lot of patients, oh, how much coffee do you drink? And they get really like concerned. I'm like, no, coffee's okay, but like everything else in moderation. So caffeine mm-hmm. could be useful. 